Happy holidays and welcome back hikers to Follow Bigfoot, where our motive is to inspire, to motivate you to get outside, to get on the trail and hike your own hike. My name is Bigfoot and I'm gonna share with you today some of my favorite ultralight gear that's affordable out there that I think is a great stocking stuffer or Christmas gifts for your upcoming through hike. Maybe it's for your buddy that's about to embark on an incredible journey or maybe it's a friend or relative. Whoever it is and whoever it's for, this is stuff that I currently have used in previous through hikes or I have just recently acquired and I'll be using on my upcoming hikes here going into 2018. Now I mentioned the word affordable. All the gear that you'll find in this video is going to be under $40 with the exception of just one item at the very end that is a hot deal out there that I wanted to make sure I let you guys know about but the majority of the items in here are actually under $25. Now, before I get into the list, are you familiar with the massive Christmas gear giveaway that we're doing here this week on Thursday? If not, make sure you check out this video above, it talks about how you can get entered into this contest that absolutely costs you nothing. It's really easy and simple, and we're giving away over $900 worth of gear to 17 lucky winners. The first item on my list is a pair of Njinji socks. These are the Trail Midweight Crew Mini socks. They are toe socks and they run about $15. I love these socks. They're my new favorite socks. I've been using them on the trail since mid 2017 and I'm not gonna stop. Since I started using these things, I haven't had a single blister on any part of my foot, including my toes, which was the vulnerable area of my feet where I used to get blisters if I wasn't out on the trail frequent enough. In Gingy socks. The next item is my ultralight stove of choice, which is the BRS titanium stove. This thing comes in at a very sick 0.88 ounces, super ultralight. I've used this thing since I started cooking back on the trail. I took this with me during my JMT through hike. I have never had an issue with this thing failing. And the best part about this is it's under 20 bucks on Amazon. My next item is my ultralight knife I took with me on the Appalachian Trail, which is the Victorinox Swiss Army Knife. This thing comes in at 0.7 ounces, and it has more than just the function of using it as a knife. There's tweezers, there's a little toothpick, and it's got scissors on it, which you can use scissors for so many things. Personally for me, I use scissors to clip my toenails or my fingernails. It worked out great, so I never had to worry about finding a toe clippers or fingernail clippers out there on the trail. This thing comes in at under 13 bucks. I think on Amazon, it's even around $11 or so. Super light, super cheap, and very practical. This, in my opinion, is really all you need in a knife out there on a through hike on the Appalachian Trail. My next item is how I navigated with me on the Appalachian Trail, which is AWOL's AT Guide. The combination of this with Gut Hooks app is how I navigated on the trail. AT's Guide is great. Many hikers refer to this as the Bible for the Appalachian Trail. Now, the 2018 edition has already hit Gut Hooks website. It's not on Amazon yet, but if you go to Gut Hooks website, you actually can get 15% off the purchase right now, which puts it at under $14. Now, what I recommend is that you get the loose leaf sheets because you're probably not gonna wanna rip these pages out of a book. And then I would also get the downloaded version so you can have a version on your phone in the event that you wanna look at other parts of the trail and you don't wanna carry the entire book with you, which I wouldn't recommend. Now, when you're in the middle of a through hike, you're gonna need something to light your way. And I prefer the black diamond ion headlamp. I prefer this because it is super, super light at 1.9 ounces that includes the batteries in it. Plus it is super affordable. It's under $25 and it has hundred lumens. On the trail out there, I felt I've never needed more than hundred lumens to light my way when I'm night hiking or even if I'm just in camp, you can dim the setting to save the battery. Black Diamond Ion Headlamp, I have used on my last couple through hikes, the John Muir Trail and the Sapir Hiking Trail. Now, speaking of your iPhone, you're probably bringing some electronics out on the trail that you're going to need to charge, which means you're gonna to have to bring a backup battery brick. I prefer Anchor's 10,000 milliamp battery brick. This thing checks in at 6.2 ounces, which is probably the lightest battery brick. That's 10,000 milliamp that you can find out there on the market. Now the cost is just a hair over $25 on Amazon and it's going to get you from resupply to resupply if you have minimal electronic equipment. Now if you're anything like me and you're vlogging out there on the trail and you're using a lot of battery, 10,000 milliamps 
is probably not going to cut it. The battery brake that I brought with me on the Appalachian Trail was one made by Rav Power. Now, they don't make the one I brought anymore. This is a newer model. It is 16,750 milliamps. Right now, it's checking in at $23.99 on Amazon with a coupon code, which I'll put below in the description box. But 16,750, and it weighs in at 10.6 ounces. The weight to milliamp ratio is very comparable with that of Anchor. Anchor is just slightly better, but this is a very close second, and you're gonna get more battery for less buck. So 16,750 might be able to get you through the extra day or two, especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of vlogging out there on the trail. Now, just like Anchor, Rav Power makes lots of different battery bricks, and one of the first battery bricks that I bought for hiking was uh, one that looked just like this. This is actually the third generation now. I had the first generation, but it's the 16,750 milliamp, so it has the same capacity as the one I just showed, but it's a little bit more modern. I like how it lights up in the front. Again, it's a little bit more modern, but the nice thing about this, it's got a flashlight in the front. So if you do need to uh, use something inside your tent, you don't wanna get out your headlamp, you can use this battery brick because you're probably going to be charging something at night just to get around and mosey around. Kind of nice, some multifunctionality there with your backup battery brick. And this, of course, has a different design uh, than that other battery brick. So if you're looking for something that's a little more square shaped and fits into your pack a little better, this might be your option. This comes in at $23.99 on Amazon as well. Now for my Christmas giveaway, Rad Power has actually donated both of these battery bricks. I'll be giving each one of these away during my Christmas gear giveaway on Thursday. Now one of the most important pieces of clothing for me on an everyday basis is what I'm wearing below my shorts. And what I prefer and what I recommend is the Ex Officio boxer briefs. Now these are the nine inch boxer briefs. I have lately gone up to the six inch and I haven't had any issues with change and coverage and how it protects my uh, inner thighs. But I've had this pair of boxer briefs since I started the Appalachian Trail, and it has probably seen well over 3,000 miles. And outside of a little uh, stain that I have in the back somewhere, which was my own doing, I can hardly see any wear or tear that I've had on these boxer briefs during the entire time. You can get a pair of these uh, Give and Go Sports Mesh Boxer Briefs on Amazon for under $25. They might be a little expensive when you look at other boxer briefs, but these things last and these things don't stink. These are my go-to boxer brief. Now one of the pieces of gear that you've seen me take on every single through hike that I really won't leave home without is my Z-Seat from Thermarest. It's a butt pad. This thing checks in at 1.8 ounces and is under $15. You're gonna hardly even notice that it's on your back and you are going to be thankful that you have it when you do. This thing makes life so much more comfortable out there on the trail, especially when you are enjoying a nice hot meal after you're done hiking. I love my butt pad. Recently, I upgraded my tent stakes to the MSR Carbon Core tent stakes. These things are extremely light. They're 0.2 ounces per stake, and they are extremely, extremely durable and strong. Now when the ground is really tough and you need to push these things in with your foot, these things aren't going to bend, not like the 6.5 inch titanium stakes that I used to use, which is why I upgraded to these things. And these things come in under $25 for a pack of four on Amazon. Another piece of clothing that I really can't live without is something to wick the moisture away from my head. My sweatband, I prefer a buff. This piece of gear has so many functions. I don't know why you could leave it at home. I brought this with me out on the JMT and I will continue bringing a buff with me. I used to use a bandana, but you do have limitations of things that you can do with a bandana. With a buff, you just multiply all the functions that you can use. If you want to know more about all those functions, check out buffwear.com. These things cost under 20 bucks and they're almost mandatory for any through hiker. Now, speaking of clothing that's mandatory, you gotta have something out there for the wet conditions, some sort of rain jacket. And lucky for us, Frog Togs makes a very, very affordable rain jacket that is ultra, ultra light. It's actually lighter than a lot of those high price jackets that you'll see out there that cost 150, 200, $250. Now this is the Frog Togs 
Ultra Light 2 rain suit. It comes with both the jacket and the pants. The jacket itself weighs in at 5.6 ounces. That's it. Now, if you want to bring the pants, add 4.1 ounces to that. So a total of 9.7 ounces for an entire rain suit that is ultra, ultra light and ultra, ultra cheap. You can find this on Amazon for 15 bucks. What a deal. Now, speaking of wet conditions and rain, there's going to be times you're going to have water get inside your tent. You need something to clean it out. I recommend bringing an ultra light towel. I think it's definitely a mandatory piece of gear out there. You can use it for more than just soaking up water in your tent. I used it for so many different functions, whether it was just drying off my hands, maybe it was washing off my face, washing off my feet, you name it. But this is a very multi-purpose piece of gear out here. And when it is wet, and when you do get that water in your tent, you are going to wish you had some sort of towel. These things can go anywhere from five bucks up to 20 something dollars online, but check it out, get a ultralight towel. The next piece of gear is something I'm really excited about. It is Vargo's Dig Dig Tool. This thing is sweet. It has two functions. It is a trowel and it is a tent stake. Now comparing this to my QWIS trowel that I've been bringing on every single through hike, this thing is super beefy. It's really going to help get through some of those rocks and roots that you're gonna see out there on the trail, especially on the Appalachian Trail. Now, as it pertains to the tent stake, this is not gonna come out of the ground. With my duplex, I would be using this for one of my storm doors, especially the storm door that's going to be getting the brunt of the wind. I would throw this in there and this thing is not going anywhere. So you can also drop one of your tent stakes when you're using this thing and it checks in under 25 bucks on Amazon. Now my water filter of choice is the Katadyne Be Free water filter. I've been using this thing since the Spare Hiking Trail. I absolutely love it because it filters water a lot faster and it is a lot simpler to scoop up water out of a stream or wherever you're getting your water source. Now this thing has really impressed me on both my GMT and my SHT hikes and I'll continue to bring this with me on the trails next year in 2018. I'm also giving away three of these on my Christmas gear giveaway. Now the cost of the Be Free water filter right now is checking in on Amazon just under 38 bucks. Speaking of other items that I'm giving away during my Christmas gear giveaway is the pack pillow. This is a four in one piece of gear. It acts as a sit pad, it acts as a stuff sack, it acts as a pillow. And if you get the strap that comes with it for uh, additional charge, this will also make a slack pack or a summit pack. Now I did a full review of this thing. I will link it here above if you're interested in seeing more about this. Right now, Pack Pillow is offering a 20% discount right now on Amazon for the Pack Pillow. And if you are not buying the strap with it, it's checking in at under $40. Now after a very long day out there on the trail, sometimes the last thing that I felt like doing was blowing up my air mattress. And that's why Thermarest makes a little mini air pump that you can use for your NeoAir X-Lite air mattress or many other mattresses for that matter. Now this thing checks in at 2.5 ounces with the AAA batteries or 1.8 ounces without the battery. Now if I brought this thing, one of the things I might do is just share the batteries from this with my Black Diamond Ion so that I'm saving a little bit of weight there. Now how this thing works is you just open this thing up, the pump starts and you just throw this rubber piece right over your blow nozzle on your x light or whatever air mattress that you are trying to uh, blow up and that's it you just set it and forget it come back in 10 more minutes depending on how big your mattress is and it will be all filled with air save you a little bit of lung now the other benefit that you have without blowing up your air mattress by yourself by your lungs is you're not getting moisture inside of your air mattress when you blow it up you're getting moisture in there and that creates mold this is something that's going to eliminate mold from getting inside of your air mattress. Now, if you're looking for something to blow up your air mattress that has a little bit more purpose, I recommend the Thermarest NeoAir X Lite Pump Sack. This thing not only is going to fill up your air mattress, but it also acts as a, uh, a chair so you actually can blow up your air mattress, throw your air mattress in here, close it, and it becomes a really ultralight chair out there in the backcountry. And this is also a pack liner. So you can throw this inside of your pack and use this as a pack liner. Now, I did a full review and a demonstration of how to do all these things and all of the functions that this thing has. I will link it here above so you can check it out. But right now, this is coming in on Amazon for under 30 bucks. 
Now the last piece of gear that I have is something that's gonna come in just above $40, and that's the Knock Outdoors Vertex Aluminum and EVA trekking poles. They make four different types of trekking poles. This will be the cheapest one. I actually have a discount code for you if you wanna purchase this on Amazon. The discount code is BigfootC, and this is going to knock the price of these poles down under $43. And I did a review of the carbon and cork trekking poles yesterday on my channel. I'll link it above here, so if you wanna check more about Knockout Tours, but this is something I've been really impressed. This, this piece of gear here, I think it's very well made and I'm actually going to be bringing a pair of their trekking poles out with me on my upcoming adventures in 2018. Well guys, that's my Christmas affordable list. I hope you don't procrastinate and get your Christmas gifts at the last minute, but if you're finding yourself stuck and you only have a few more days, most of all the items that I talked about in this video are eligible for Amazon Prime, so likely you can get it within a two or three day window. Now, don't forget to sign up for my Christmas gear giveaway that I'll be announcing here this Thursday. Stay tuned for that and many more sightings. And remember to always follow Bigfoot.